two miles out from the fortress right now. I figure we'll just land right next to it, grab the tanks. David, you got the you get to use the Hellbringer, is that your land assault vehicle, right? Yeah. <laughs> I did not bring any cores with me, I don't think. It's alright. Uh, all you got is make one. Yeah, That's, I'll make a couple. That is true. Alright, um, so I think the best way to assault this is going to be, I'm going to stay away because they actually have some decent range, uh, from this side over here. So I'm going to spin this around the other way. Let me see what we've got going on here with stuff. I'm going to try to land it right here. All right, it's landed. Uh, don't turn it off. Why is that? Well, we don't we don't have any cores or turrets. If that's on. gotcha. Yep. Okay, it's on. All right, I'm gonna grab the blue one. You grab the black tank. Turn on your vest. Turn on your tank and make sure your shields or stuff and stuff are all charged up. And then you may have to press hold C to get it low low enough to get through the door. Where am I? There we go. Just. Uh Waiting for the shield to go. It barely fits in under the warp drive. Yeah, and it barely fits through the door too. That's why you're gonna have to hold C and kind of wiggle it to get it through a little bit. So we're taking out turrets and mounted weapons, right? Yeah, focus on t you guys focus completely on turrets and mounted weapons. So here's the deal, um, our Robin, with your um, with your tank, that's got the pulse lasers. So you immediately want to get up there in range, and as soon as you get in range, just hold down left click and just spam pulse lasers on it, and it'll burn up the shield right away. Like five seconds, you should be able to burn the shield up before you even have to reload once. And then from there, make sure the nose of the tank is pointed down far enough where the auto turrets just unload on it. As soon as you get the shields down, I'm going to take the rail gun and I'm going to just go straight for the core and try to take it down right away. Are you ready? Uh, are you all ready, Robin? I'm ready to go. David, are you ready? So if you could try to just get I'm up there. Of it if you could just try to get up there and take some fire. You know, shots towards the shots so they don't shoot all at us. All right, go ahead. Let's go, Robin. Yeah, just a few robots here. Oh yeah, let's take these guys out. Incoming fire. All right, let's just charge the base. We gotta charge the base. We gotta go, go, go. Done. Are you done already? I fucking cored it. Hang on, let me come down here and check. I can't help you with some of this bullshit on the ground. Oh, 
Oh damn. Yeah, there's a lot of shit on the ground. I took I took a, a whole bunch of my I lost a front thruster or shot pod in, in the front right. At least three turrets. <laughs> I did take some fire there. Yeah, I just stayed up there because I knew I was so damn close to coring it. Holy shit, the whole thing blew up. Ah, uh, they obviously haven't fixed the explosions yet, then. No, they haven't fixed the SI issues. You know, I thought I heard a lot of explosions on my ship, and it turns out it may, may it make sense. I lost this whole front. Well, that's fine. It held up well. It held up well. I took a lot of hits there. Cool. Well, that my. Yeah, I'm going out on foot. Well, that my friends decided to take down a Xeno fortress in like a minute. Cool. I hope I, I bet you all the good loot was up in that tower though. I know for sure there was a, uh, a ultra rare li alien container up there that we probably lost. I see some explosive blocks in here, so I think it might be an intended thing that it blows up. Oh my god, this goes down a long way. Maybe they intentionally did that so you don't core it. There's lots of boxes down there. Alright, well that was tons of fun.